What's Organic Dreams? This is. So a few years ago, um, I was close to 400 pounds. I had diabetes, high blood pressure. And so I needed to change my diet and get healthier. And in that process, I started discovering permaculture, uh, organic, and wasn't sure what it was, but I just did more and more research. And the more I did, the more I saw that that's what's best for me. Like that's what I want to put into my body. None of these chemicals and steroids and all these different things that go into processed food. I wanted to grow my own food. And so I started with a little garden and uh, had a few chickens. <clears throat> and then when COVID hit, I got laid off. And then I got another job. And in that process, I, I had had a two year plan where I wanted to start my own farm. And with everything going on, I just decided now's the time. And so I began to put things in motion and make plans and and this is where we are right now. Uh, so my family, um, my great grandpa had 60 acres here and it's divided between three kids. So on my side, uh, my family has 20 acres and um, some of them are living on it. Some of it is grown up pasture. Some of it like this here, this is, cows and horses has been on this for 50 or 60 years. I, I don't know, maybe maybe even longer than that. And so this part here, what we're doing is we're removing trees and this, this is where the garden's gonna be. So, Organic Dreams. Organic Dreams is my dream and my family's dream to be more sustain sustainable um, in our food. And part of what we're gonna be doing is not only are we gonna be farming for ourselves, but we're gonna kind of be doing a market garden type thing. Um, so we'll be selling some. So right now, once again, there's the garden. Hey, Smoke. And if we come this way, but this, this documentary that I wanna do is gonna be, I've already been filming some, but it is a, from very beginning until one entire year, the process of starting your own organic farm. Um, I'll be talking about getting water, getting power. Hey buddy, how you doing? How you doing? You wanna be you vlogging with me? What you think? You want some better grass to eat? Yep. So right now, this here, this is gonna be a nursery. I tore down um, an old building and it had a whole bunch of lumber. It had a whole bunch of windows. And so we're gonna use all that to make this nursery. And if you follow with me, we're gonna take a little walk. I, I, I love YouTube. Um, I love watching people's stories of watching them start from nothing or whether they have something and they've never realized what they wanted to do with that I love seeing their story of start like when, when they're whatever they're doing so that's why I want to do this thing um, we're gonna be YouTubing every day we we have been we just haven't uploaded them yet we're learning how to uh, edit with the software and so where what we're doing now is we were uphill we're going downhill we're gonna cross this bridge here and what we have is a 12 acre field in the back and years ago probably 15 20 years ago it was a hay field and uh, well that's the last time that it was hay but it has been a hay field for years we used to have a um y'all probably can see that trailer that old trailer back there we used to have a hay barn there and it was there for i don't know how many years and then uh, years ago, one of the hurricanes come through and finally took, took it down. So um, since then we haven't really used hay. And then my, um, my great grandpa, when he passed, uh, we got rid of, he, they sold all of his cows. And then my uncle used to 
lease the land and it's a lot busier. It's a hot wire. So here is the sketchy old bridge that definitely needs to work. And so uh, anyway, once he wasn't leasing that property anymore uh, for the, the pay rights. Uh, my family didn't have any um, cows or anything, so it just began to grow up. And this big, beautiful field does not look like a big, beautiful field. Okay. There's the old gate. Hot wire there. And it is. That's my uncle's hot wire, and it is super hot, so we're not going to be touching that. We're going to go across the fence right over here. Let's see. All right. So, I want you to imagine a wide open 12 acre field, beautiful hay growing in it. No trees, no shrubs, just like a, a sea of grass. That's what it used to look like here. And this is what it looks like now. That's a hayfield, or used to be. And so what we want to do is we want to reclaim this, and we're gonna we're we're gonna return it, uh, or we're gonna turn it into pasture. Uh, we're planning on running uh, pasture chickens, pork, some sheep, cows, and to do that we have to have more pasture. And it's right here, but it looks like that. So part of this process, we're going to be showing you guys, you know, we're going to have to get equipment in here and begin to mow all these tallow trees down. There's a few oaks and some pines that we're going to leave uh, mainly for shade. We're here in Louisiana and it gets super, super hot in the summertime. And so we may end up cutting them and putting some shade shelters out. Uh, but to start, we're going to, uh, we're going to leave a few. And so, you can't see across there, but I mean, it's probably four or 500 yards this way uh, before the tree line. And I mean, it is just, it's just growed up with, with everything. You know? uh, the only reason it ain't growed up right there is because of the uh, canopy of the oak trees there. So yes, that is part of our, that's, that's what we're doing. That's our story. We want to bring you guys on our journey, on our adventure um, of starting our own farm. And there is a lot, I mean, we are literally starting from scratch. The field that I showed you guys first, that's where we're going to be doing vegetables. We've been cutting trees and stuff down there, but it's been a cattle pasture for years, just where they've grazed and it's been overgrazed. And the ground is super hard. now. There's a, a lot of cow manure on it, so that's going to be great um, in the long term. But that, that top layer of soil is going to be really good. But you, once you get down about six inches, um, it is just super hard packed clay. And so we're going, to be, we're going to be working with that top six inches to start with, and then we'll be putting our own compost on top of that over the years and building real good ground. And once we get out here, we're, once we get these trees done, instead of having a monoculture and just having bahia out here, we're going to plant a lot of different species of grass. And so what we'll do is we'll run the cows through, and we'll run the sheep through, maybe the pigs, and then we'll follow all of that with our laying hens and, uh, and some of our, our meat birds to be uh, in a a little section totally different just for them. We'll keep it a little lower, but we'll let the laying hens uh, come behind them and scratch through the manure and get all the little fly larvae and everything to help with the pest population. So that is where we're at, Organic Dreams. We want you guys to come be a part of our journey. Love you guys.